हेलो बेटा इन टूडेज क्लास आई एम गोइंग टू गो अड एंड टॉक अबाउट अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थ्योरी विच इज एंडो मोडिग्लानी अप्रोच एंड द लाइफ साइकिल हाइपोथिस बेटा दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट डिफिकल्ट थ्योरी टू अंडरस्टैंड सो लेट इज गो थ्रू दिस हाइपोथिस सो ये जो हाइपोथिस थी एंडो एंड मोडिकलानी बेटा दिस वॉज गिवन बाय सॉरी दिस लाइफ साइकिल हाइपोथिस दिस वॉज गिवन बाय एंडो एंड मोडिकलानी इन्होंने क्या बोला पहले समझने की कोशिश करते हैं सो दे सेट दैट लुक देर इज एन इंडिविजुअल दिस इंडिविजुअल ही इज गोइंग टू स्टार्ट हिज लाइफ वेन ही इज यंग देन ही विल गो टूवर्ड्स बींग मिडल एज and then he will become old ye teen phases hain kisi bhi individual ke this individual will start young he will go in the middle age and then he will become old so beta what this hypothesis is suggesting is that when you go from young towards middle age kya hoga when you are young you are not earning money matlab you are a student right so you're not earning money you want to consume khana to khana hai but you don't earn anything you don't earn money and when you are old you are not earning anything so in both the situations whether you are young or old you are not earning money tum you're not you don't have any money ha beta in the middle age you are earning money so ab kya karna chahiye fir is individual ko This hypothesis says that ये जो earnings है ना जो आप यहां earn कर रहे हो this earning can be used, some amount can be saved, and उन सेविंग्स से आप अपना ओल्ड एज का खर्चा निकालोगे right? So you will save some money and you will use that money for your old age. दूसरा क्या कर सकते हो But when you are young and you are not earning, you can take loan. and you can repay that loan from the money you earn in the middle age jab aap middle age ke ho ge aap un earnings se loan ko bhi repay kar do so matlab yahan par when you are young you will have to dis save money dis save matlab negative savings hongi aapki negative savings right beta and when you are old then also you will be dis saving money negative savings purani savings ko use kar rahe ho but when you are middle age you will be saving money clear hui beta baat so this hypothesis suggests that you will be going ahead and you will be dis saving money aapki negative savings hongi when you are in your young age and when you are in your old age but you will be saving money when you will be in your middle age jab aap apni middle age mein hoge tab aap paisa bacha rahe hoge then you will be saving so try to understand this thing individual has an income stream relatively low at the beginning and end of her life to beta ye humne individual ki na income stream dikhai hai just try to see ha huh? this is the income stream of the individual dekho jab individual apni ye t hai t matlab time period this is time period so when individual is in the middle age matlab here He is earning highly. Middle age तक पहुंचने के लिए लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल इवन वेन यू विल स्टार्ट वर्किंग क्या होगा बेटा पहले आप एक छोटी जॉब से स्टार्ट करोगे फिर आप वहां पर प्रमोट हो गए उसको आपको हाइक मिलेगी यू विल ग्रो 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 योर इनकम विल इंक्रीज सो वेन यू विल स्टार्ट योर इन इनकम इज रिलेटिवली लो उस तरीके से शायद रिटायरमेंट पे आपको कोई पेंशन मिले बट पेंशन इज नॉट इक्वल टू द इनकम pension is just some part of the income so towards the end also your income will be comparatively low so this this diagram this curve just look at this curve for now sirf is curve pe dhyan denge hum beta this curve represents the income flow ye curve income flow ko represent karta hai now look at the consumption curve isko bolte hain hum consumption curve but what will an individual want 
आप क्या चाहोगे कि अगर आज आप हंड्रेड रुपीज स्पेंड करते हो कैफे जाकर तो कल शायद आप टुमोरो वेन यू बिकम ओल्ड यू विल बी एबल टू स्पेंड वन फिफ्टी रुपीज इन अ कैफे वेन यू फर्दर ग्रो यू शुड बी एबल टू स्पेंड टू हंड्रेड रुपीज इन अ कैफे मतलब जैसे जैसे आप बढ़ते जाते हो लाइफ में यू कैन कंज्यूम मोर दैट इज वॉट अमन मेंटेलिटी इज जितना खर्चा मैं आज कर सकती हूँ हाउ मच आई कैन स्पेंड टूडे आई विल थिंक दैट यू नो वॉट आफ्टर वन ईयर माई इनकम शुड बी मोर आई शुड बी एबल टू कंज्यूम मोर सो ऑन एन एवरेज यू वॉन्ट योर कंजम्पन स्ट्रीम टू बी अपवर्ड स्लोपिंग अपवर्ड स्लोपिंग मतलब की थोड़ी थोड़ी बढ़ती जाए पिछले साल से ज्यादा इस साल उससे ज्यादा अगले साल एंड सो ऑन एंड सो फोर्थ यू शुड बी इनक्रीजिंग योर कंजम्पन एवरी ईयर this is what you will want so now beta let us combine these two graphs together so i have this graph acha ye t kya represent karta that you will live for t years starting from say zero year then beta this is my income income kam se shuru hoti hai badhti hai wapas kam pe aati hai and i want my consumption to be continuously increasing i want my consumption to continuously increase but a consumption minus income if you consume 100 your income is 20 to 80 rupees ka to loan ho gaya na this is called dis saving what is this called this is called as dis saving so try to understand that here yes this is consumption ha huh? this is income so consumption minus income that means this part right beta this is your dis saving similarly dekho ye this is consumption this is income so consumption is more than income na so consumption minus income beta that means this part this is also your dis saving so consumption minus income is called dis saving acha beta idhar what is happening income zyada hai consumption kam hai income is more consumption is less so income minus consumption is what what is income minus consumption called it is called as savings kya bolte hain usko savings बेटा यू विल यूज दीज सेविंग्स आप इन सेविंग्स को यूज करोगे ये दो डिस सेविंग्स को फंड करने के लिए कोई कहीं और से तो पैसा नहीं आएगा ना सो वट एवर यू आर सेविंग इफ यू सेव हंड्रेड देन मे बी यू विल रीपे अ लोन ऑफ सम अमाउंट हियर एंड रिमेनिंग यू विल यूज हियर सो दिस टोटल सेविंग्स जितना पैसा आपने सेव किया होगा it should be equal to total dis savings is this hypothesis clear to everyone so what are we doing we are having some income income is low when i am young income is low when i am old income is high in my middle age income is high in my middle age beta i have this as my consumption curve consumption is increasing function of time jaise jaise time badhega as time progresses your consumption will increase right then this gap becomes dis saving dis saving and this becomes saving is this diagram absolutely clear to everyone now let's read beta individual is expected to maintain more or less constant or slightly increasing level of consumption aisa kabhi nahi hoga that you will decrease your consumption think about it suppose let's talk about a very rich person he has a habit of consuming high amount but even when he stops working will he stop his consumption no he will continue consuming the same level or more <coughs> so individual ka jo consumption hai it is assumed to be increasing 
let the present value of consumption be less than equal to the present value of income. <coughs> Sorry. We did this in Fisher's hypothesis. Kya bola tha beta humne? Try to see this. I am earning 100 today. Then 150 after one year. Then 180 after two years. Ye meri sari income levels hai. Then 200 after three years. If I ask you what is the present value of this? Aaj ke time pe iski pure ki income ka level kitna hai? How much is the income level? What will you tell me? 100 plus 150 upon 1 plus R plus 180 <coughs> upon 1 plus R square plus 200 upon 1 plus R cube and so on and so forth. So you will go ahead and you will add the income of all periods in their present value. This is the value of this income. But a value of income today. Aaj ke time pe iski kitani value hai, ye hum bata rahe So this is the present value of the income. You cannot exceed your income. Hai na? Ye to sari incomes ko include karne ke baad mere paas itna paisa hai if I want to find its value today. Can my consumption exceed that? So we are saying that the present value of consumption. Present value. That means that beta consumption today, consumption after one year in the present value, consumption after two years in the present value and so on. The present value of consumption has to be less than equal to the present value of the incomes. Beta, I have done this with you using the Fisher's hypothesis. We have already done this in Fisher's model. Mein. Okay. Now, I believe yes, a person borrows. This is what I told you, that when you are young, you will borrow. In the middle years, she saves to repay the debt, jo pehle maine dis saving ki hai. Consumption has been more than income. I have to repay those loan also, na? And provide for retirement. And I have to also save for retirement. And then I will use those savings in my old age. I will use those savings in the old age. So, in the late years, she will dissave. Is this clear? Ye diagram pura clear ho gaya. Okay. <clears throat> now, try to understand that. Suppose I ask you that there is an economy. Thoda sa samaj te is But there is this economy. And I am telling you that in this economy, there are more high income groups. There are more people who have more income. Zyada hai. There are more high income groups. So tell me something. Beta, which income groups have high income? Which income groups have more income? Zyada thi? Middle age people. Middle age people but assumed to have the highest income. So, if in an economy mein high income group zyada hai, if an economy has more high income group, what can we understand about that economy? That there will be more middle-aged people in that group. Right? Us, in that economy, mein, jo middle years wale log honge, wo zyada honge. So, there will be high middle-aged people in the group because that economy ki income is more than that. income is more than earn karta hai? Who earns more income? Those people who are in the middle-aged group. And what is the property about these people? In logo ke bare mein humne abhi kya padha? We studied that these people are those people who save more. Because if I take out the consumption line, agar main haan pe consumption line draw karu, to ye wo log hai jinki income consumption se zyada hai. This is income and this is consumption. So these are those people 
who has income more than consumption so these are those people who are saving money so this is this is i can say a characteristic of the economy economy ke bare mein mujhe kuch samajh mein aata hai is puri cheez se what is the characteristic of this economy the characteristic is that when you have high income group then it means that there are more middle age people aur ye high income group jinme middle age people hain these people will be saving more and beta if they are saving more then they are consuming less consumption nahi kar rahe hain paisa bacha rahe hain apne retirement ke liye so beta consumption by income ratio will be low consumption is less as compared to income so c by y ratio should be low is this clear to so, beta ek bari pad lete hain let's read this out high income group will contain higher than average proportion of people who are at high income level because they are in the middle years and will have low c by y ratio beta book se samajhna ise bahut difficult hai it is very difficult to interpret this line as it is book interpretation bahut difficult hai so you have to go ahead and you have to understand what i am teaching otherwise it will become tough so now let's read here <clears throat> come to the next explanation now beta i am talking about an economy ye wo economy hai jahan pe zyada tar logo ki income kam hai low income group hai so beta if this economy has low income group agar ye economy ke logo ke paas paisa nahi hai to wo according to this this hypothesis kis age bracket ke rahe honge which age bracket will we include we will go ahead and we will see that it will be either in this or this age group isn't it so the age group that we are talking about in this case is going to be either low which means young age group or that age group is going to be old age group what is the characteristic about these age groups inki kya property hai what is the property about these age groups the main property is that their consumption is more than income consumption is more than income so these age groups are consuming higher so they will have high c by y ratio is this clear so try to read it now low income group will include more people who are at the end of age distribution matlab who are old end of age distribution right they are old in in age and thus they will have high c by y ratio so book ne bas ek ye line di hai but you need to interpret this line ha beta is this making some sense so we are trying to understand here that if an economy has high income it means it has more middle age people that means these people will be saving more they will be consuming less so the c by y ratio of the economy will be low they are consuming less they are saving more If there is an economy which is having low income, मतलब यहाँ पे बहुत ज्यादा बुढ़े लोग हैं दे हैव एज इट राइट सो ओल्ड पीपल सो ओल्ड पीपल मीन्स दैट दे आर सेविंग नाउ लेस दे आर कंज्यूमिंग मोर मोर कंजम्पन मीन्स दैट द सी बाय वाई रेशियो विल बी हाई दे आर कंज्यूमिंग मोर एज प्रपोर्शन ऑफ देयर इनकम इज दिस क्लियर टू एवरी वन okay beta now let's go ahead now all of you just go back to the lecture 1 that we did 
that lecture was on keynesian consumption model keynes consumption theory but in that we talked about the consumption puzzle what is this consumption puzzle saying kya kehta hai consumption puzzle this consumption puzzle states that mpc should be less than apc i have proved this to all of you that mpc is less than apc so even in this hypothesis when i talk about life cycle hypothesis even in the life cycle hypothesis it is true that mpc is less than apc so this is a known fact that mpc is less than apc is this clear q why is this happening so try to see but what is apc apc is c by y apc is c by y we know that as you go from young to middle age as you go from young to middle age kya ho raha hai beta young mein you were consuming more middle age mein your consumption falls so c by y ratio falls so apc falls beta whenever apc is declining mpc is always less than apc this is a property whenever apc is falling mpc will be less than apc ek example le lete hain let's take an example go back to the keynes model beta c is equal to c bar plus cy suppose i take some numbers suppose i tell you c is equal to 100 plus 0.5y to beta let's take some number when income is 100 consumption will be 150 income is 200 consumption will be 200 income is 300 consumption will be 250 income is 400 consumption will be 300 beta what will be c by y 15 by 10 1.5 125 by 30 that means 5 by 6 3 by 4 that means 0.75 APC is decreasing. Can you see this? APC is declining. One point five, one five by six, zero point seven five. APC is falling. But what is MPC? MPC is this DC by DY. That means zero point five. So MPC is zero point five. Can we see that APC is more than MPC? Yes. So, जब भी APC गिरेगा, whenever APC is falling, then MPC is less than APC. So we can say that even in the life cycle hypothesis, because we proved that C by Y is falling as you go from young to middle age, C by Y is falling. So as C by Y is falling, that means APC is falling. If APC is falling, then MPC will be less than APC. Clear हो गई ये बात? Okay, beta. Now the book starts with this model. तो ये mathematical model की starting है अब. Mathematical model. 